my pink panic hi parrots hi Yamasha. how are we all this fantastic friday night hi straw guys it's warm and i'm still a little bit sick but i'm better than i was yesterday i'm having a cozy day with tea hi metal master we are gonna have a nice comfy night tonight is what i'm doing i'm just making pouring some cream of soda which did not explode As we know, it's important to stay hydrated. Hi, Midnight Sword. Thank you for the hydrate, Straw Ghost. And you want the pigtails. There we go. I've been organizing my birthday stream a little bit today. Thank you for the subscription, Umbra Sykes. Thank you for the two months. I think we can just get started, shall we? It feels like, I know it's only been a week, but it feels like forever since I last played Pokemon. I don't even remember what we were doing. It's weird seeing some uh, sub anniversaries because it's like, I've not been doing this very long and it's just, it's really fulfilling when I see people that have been here supporting me for a little while. It makes me happy and I'm really grateful. What's this? library can't be important oh it's a gem um we did go to a pokemon center right yeah there was a pokemon center we went to before so i guess we just go to the gem <laughs> okay metal master you are a very good boy you've been making so many wonderful memes for us and I genuinely really appreciate you. You have always been here ever since the start and you make a good chunk of the content we post every day. You are very much, almost certainly, our very best boy. Thank you. Right, let's beat up the gym leader. What Pokemon are we up against here? Is it fighting? Steel! Steel! What do I have? Uh... We're gonna use Ponyta as our main. I'm gonna use Ponyta with Small as backup because they're both, they both have fire moves. I just realized that I can't evolve Pink Panic. I can't evolve Pink Panic because I never play in daytime. Of course it was some genuine praise. Every time someone does the praise redeem, it's always someone who's been here for a little while, so I always get I, I can always think about it. It's not just someone randomly clicking the praise redeem. Frankly. I'd feel awkward if someone who wasn't a consistent part of the community used the praise redeem, because then you have to come up with praise and it's just like, eh, do you really deserve the praise? Like, yeah. And also, I am genuinely thankful for all the content you make for us. It really makes me happy because I struggle with time management and it makes me think that I can spend more time doing clips and edits and doing video content. I mean, I still have like some other stuff that I want to do. Like, I'm speaking with a couple of artists about getting some comics written. I mean, I've written some comics. I'm speaking with some artists about trying to do like some deals where I can actually like get those, you know, done. What do these moves do? Because I've never used this Pokemon before. Let's use Flame Wheel. Uh, wait, let me double check one thing before I action that redeem. And because it's important. Pink Panic. Mm -hmm. You are. Uh, 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 thank you so much, Humble Hedgehog, for the follow. That reminds me, I need to open stream labels so I can keep track of everything and keep open the um, the other trackers so I can. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna use flamethrower. Oh shit! I'm frozen. Fuck. Um. Shit. How does this work? Uh, how does frozen work? Do I have an item? 
Hi, Eagle Munch. And thank you, Pink Panic. You're always a very good girl. You've always raided us every time you've come off stream. And I really appreciate it. You're one of our most active community members. And I generally am glad that you're here. You help make these streams fun for me. And I'm very grateful. Hi, Humble Hedgehog. Welcome to the stream. I am Tiger, the comfy VTuber. I am a tiger. No! You son of a bitch! Fuck you! Oh! That was... <laughs> This is bullshit! Oh, oh. I just used my heel. <laughs> that's... That's not how we were supposed to do this. It's fine. Small is just gonna wreck this whole gym for me and it's gonna be fine. They're all going to die. And it's going to be fine. We we are going to kill them all. We are going to absolutely do We're going to absolutely destroy everyone. And it's going to be fine, right? It's going to be fine. We're going to destroy everyone. And that's what counts. Right? This is now the revenge stream. No mercy. Okay, you want head pads. No, you can't give me head pads. In my streams. I'm the one that gives you head pads. We all know this by now, don't we? Yo 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 You will take the head pads. You don't have a choice. <sighs> oh yes, this is a revenge stream. I really wanted Ponyta. I wanted to evolve that Ponyta. That's so sad. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. This is the start of the stream. Wait, what the hell? What the hell does Acupress should do? What do you do? You don't do anything. Go away. Hmm. That's why people come. Everyone gets out. It's in my streams. Okay, I'm so glad I made myself a cup of tea at the start of this stream. I did not need to start out by losing a Pokemon. As if. As if. I think, you know what? I'm gonna have... I'm going to bring out a new Pokemon for the first time in ages, use it in battle, and it just dies, it gets frozen, because I'm like, oh, I'm going to use this other ability that I've not used before and see how it does. You get frozen and then fucking die straight away. That's bullshit. As if. Yeah, like, how bullshit is that? Okay. What else do we have here? You know what? We want to evolve you into a tentacrawl. Hmm. Nuzlocke is bullshit. Like, it makes you feel so bad whenever you lose anything. I know, right? How are you supposed to freeze a Pokemon that's literally made, in, made of fire? That's bullshit. Absolute bullshit, but fine game. Fine. But to be honest, 
I've never had so many feelings playing a Pokemon game as I have this run. So it's not the worst thing in the world. We're gonna we're gonna involve you into a tentacle because he doesn't like tentacles, right? I mean what? Okay, <laughs> have fun doing the VR stuff. I I would like to do VR chat someday. When I get full body tracking, I think it'll be fun. What do these do? What? I want to go back down. Oh, it's a maze. Okay. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I can't believe I lost a Pokemon straight away. Oh, wait, piss off. Are you sending out one? This is meant to be a steel gym. You lying to me, game. I don't even have effective moves for this shit. As we all know, I am an adult, so I struggle with solving child puddles. That's how it works. But it's fine. We will get through the gym. We will get through the gym. We will figure it out. I'm just going to kill every Pokemon trainer in here. And it's gonna be fine. We're going to murder them all. Because they took my ponytail from me. I'm still gonna jam with this tune there. I love the Pokemon Battle music. I still can't believe, like, why are you using rock Pokemon? It's meant to be a steel gem. I mean, I suppose it saves my PV for later, which is good. But still, a small one's prey is what's new. <laughs> um. Oh, I should swap Pokemon. I've got lots of water types. I should have done that. You know, send a Munchie out. I mean, yeah, but like, still. Still, it's a, it's a gym. Like, everything is supposed to be the same type, right? Like, it makes sense. I can't believe, I can't believe I lost a Pokemon in my first battle this session. Oh, I just noticed those little claws on the inside of his little flippers. I thought they were just little flippers. Wait. Ice is super effective? I didn't know that. I mean, I'd be shocked if Munchie couldn't. The gyms are lack type due to region mark. And that does make sense, I guess. Oh yeah, because I'm guessing that some, some, exp some Pokemon games have less Pokemon of certain types than others. Wait, what? So that one that gives me nothing. So I go here? Yeah, because that other one would take me there. Uh, <laughs> so this isn't actually a hard maze. This is just uh, how many times can we send you the wrong way before you find the right way? So is like Steelix like one of the only Steel Pokemon here? No, there's surely got to be more, right? <sighs> That's gonna annoy me. Oh, it's one of these. These are cute as hell. I like them. This is Poison Bug, Bug Steel. I think it's cute though. Poison Steel, okay. That's a weird combo. Actually, no, it does make sense. Poison steel. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Because you have like a poison weapon, don't you? So it makes sense. Small is going to avenge everyone and murder everyone. No! Oh, I was dumb. I wasn't paying attention. 
Don't you fucking dare. Oh right, it's steel ground, isn't it? Always makes me. Th I always forget that like Onyx is a ground type as well. <laughs> I love that the Pokemon want to be praised when they've like done really good. I think it's really cute. They didn't used to do that. Pink Panic is going to be like the strongest baby Pokemon ever. Are baby Pokemon still a thing, or are they called something different these days? Is it just a different stage? I kind of like this gym. Like, it feels a bit janky and awkward, but there's like something about it that's kind of cool. What was that? Uh, that was my curling iron. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't actually need to... Did I not need to do that? Hang on. Does this go somewhere else? Am I... Am I... Am I confusing my... Oh, I thought that was the same one from before. It's fine. Look, this one is first, so we'll go on this one. Of course. Of course. Gyms are based on resources and local jobs of that town. Oh, well that makes sense. So basically the gym is like a hobby for everyone. You know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna swap. You can't beat Munchie. No way are you gonna beat Munchie. Munchie will kick the shit out of you. What are you doing? Hmm. You know what? I just need to bubble. Bubble Beam is a really strong attack. Like. You do protect small. I'm annoyed that they call this a steel gym though, because it makes no sense. Because it's clearly a rock gym. Wait, steel is effective? Oh, that does make sense that steel is effective against rock. Bubbles are very dangerous. They can cause your eye to sting if they get them. That's super dangerous. Attack them with boobus. <laughs> and that's effectively what bubble beam is, isn't it? It's just like boom. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> uh, maybe it's super effective against you, degenerates. I don't know how effective it would be against Pokemon though. I mean I suppose it depends on no, we're not going we're not going we're not going to we're not going to talk about that. Never mind. I should really swap Munchie out to be my first place Pokemon for this gym. It's just that there's so many fucking rock types. It's like what's the goddamn point of having my fire attacks front when they're not gonna do anything? Like, why? Yeah, super inventive against you degenerates. I don't know, not against these fucking Pokemon, let's be honest. Booba does nothing for Onyx, let's be honest. Bruh. Bruh. Don't be using super effective attacks. Mine are way better. Oh, 
Onyx is already... <laughs> Onyx is already hard. Really? Jesus Christ. You fucking degenerates. Onyx. I mean, of course he's fucking hard. He's a fucking rock. I mean, I guess you could say... He's rock hard. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? Uh... Okay, and now we switch. Well, I should invite some people I know. Rock Snake ribbed for her pleasure. I mean... I mean... You know, if you we're with a bit of imagination, you can kind of imagine that there's probably some kind of beaded toy that um, may or may not resemble Onyx somewhere out there in the world. Let's be honest. Let's let's be honest, right? That's out there. Someone out there has made it, and we all know it. Just no one wants to talk about it. Someone Google this and confirm this for me. Because I'm sure it exists. <laughs> Wait, which way was I going? I was going this way, right? This way? This way. Yes. Oh god, it exists. Thank you for confirming that, Eagle Munch. I was only guessing. I was only guessing. <laughs> you don't You don't want me to ask, so, so would I assume that you've got personal experience with this particular, uh, this particular thing? Because if you say don't ask, that means I have to ask. Let's be honest. This is the stream of truth, where everything we talk about is only true. Hi, cat. You want some head pounds? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's an Azaril. I like Azaril. I like Maril's whole evolution chain. But it's fine. What are you doing? Fucking. Is this thing steel? Is this a steel Pokemon? Um, no, it's surely not. No. What are the dimensions for science? Oh god. Is Azaril a steel poem? You could say they may have had first hand experience. First hand experience. Yeah. I bet. Ah, it's Water Fairy. Water Fairy, what is it doing here? Someone you know has one and didn't know why it looked weird. So someone you know, I mean, we don't kink shame, but someone you know has an Onyx, uh, has Onyx anal beads. Okay. Well, good for them. I mean, I don't, I don't, I mean, it's fictional, so I don't know if Pokemon counts as bestiality, but also people are Pokemon apparently in the lore, so I don't know how it all works. Pokemon is fucking weird, okay? You are being a very cuddly cat. Be on my lap. All you have to do to get all the cuddles is to just come on my lap. You silly cat. Is that so much to ask that you just sit in one comfy spot? <laughs> that must have been such a hilarious conversation to have. See, how come this guy actually has steel Pokemon? It's like, this isn't a steel gym. It's only furry until the more humanoid Pokemon. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Bronzor twisted the dimensions. What? 
It isn't called bestiality, it's called pokophilia. Okay. I mean... I mean, that still sounds pretty sus, let's be honest. Cat, don't come on my keyboard. Huh? Stop doing that! You dickhead, stop healing your fucking Pokemon and let me melt their faces, for fuck's sake. Look, I need revenge. You took one Pokemon from me, I'm going to take three of yours, okay? That's how the rules work. Bronzong is a good one. There are plenty you'd smash. Let's be honest. I mean... I mean... I mean, you know, I'm not just gonna... I'm just not gonna comment on that. I'm just not gonna comment. Okay? No comment. For you, there's two. That's a very, uh, yeah, it's a very small number. Which two, I wonder? Don't you fucking hurt small. Also, small levitates. How does, how does, how does earthquake work? No comment. <laughs> all of you guys, you're all fucking degenerates. is Bastiodon? It's fine. Small will kill it. Small will kill it. What is this thing? Flamethrower will work. You're made of steel, right? No! Oh god. Degenerate and proud. Okay. I'm gonna swap Munchie out. Oh wait, no flash cannons electric, isn't it? Shit! No? Oh, okay. Bubble attack. So this is clearly like a ground type. Ground steel? No, it can't be ground steel, because Steelix is ground steel, right? No! It's fine, Munchie can take her. Oh, it's just steel. You're trying Hatsune Miku Project Diva demo on your Switch, and you suck at the game, but you're tempted to buy it after watching Gabby Tori. Yeah, I saw Gabby Tori playing it, and it was really, really cool. It looked fun. Also, FYI, it's generally not cool to, like, talk about other streamers in chat. Like, that's just, that's just basic kind of, it's kind of stream etiquette. Unless, of course, you're invited to talk about stream. Do you want to learn Bubble Beam? Yes. Yes, you do want to learn Bubble Beam. Let's get rid of Screech. No one cares about Screech. Damn right, Eagle tanked those thunderbolts. It's fine, we like Gabby Tori. But it's more just a general rule of thumb for most streamers. Some people take it really badly. So I just thought I'd mention it, because...
No, it was the, uh, the attacks. The attacks. So they were super effective, but like he tanked that like a pro. Oh, I can use strength now. Which means there's other places I can explore that I couldn't explore before. Thank you so much, Opex, for, for the raid. How are you today? What were you playing? I am Tiger, the Comfy Tiger VTuber. We are doing Nuzlocke. We're doing a Nuzlocke, my first ever Nuzlocke run. We are doing, um... We're doing a Pokemon Shining Pearl playthrough. I've never played Pearl before. You want me to toggle hats? Okay. People hats. I started this run losing my Pokemon in the very first round of combat in like two turns and it made me very sad. But it's fine. We had our revenge and wiped the gym. But, you know, it's always sad when you lose a Pokemon in a Nuzlocke run. Where am I going? Oh, you know, surely there's a quicker way than this. Is, is this the only way? Do I have to go back through the whole thing? Usually there's a shortcut right at the end, right? I'm not imagining that. There is a shortcut right at the end, right? No? I'm so confused. Which way did I come in? I'm so confused, yeah. I'm so confused. Did I come from the right or the no, I must have come from the from the bottom, right? That makes the most sense, because that seems like the cool direction to come in to fight the gym leader. So this must be the right way. I'm so confused. I get so lost in the gyms, because they're all like little mazes now. Except the ghost one. The ghost one was just who can I, how, how do I fight the most guys? Mm. You wanted it. You're not tougher than me, bro. I beat you up like every time I see you. Like one, like he's not one once. Why does he think he's stronger than me? It makes no sense. I did do the Nia. Did I do the Nia? You know what? I don't remember. So, Nia. Oh. I want to catch new Pokemon. I feel like I haven't caught a Pokemon in ages. It's because I keep ending up one-shotting them. And that's not the plan. It just happens. Nia. Up into the library. What does this nerd want me to do? I like your hat. I want it. Lady, you should go and sit down at a table if you're going to read. Where's that guy? You were able to keep fighting the Elite Four? Really? What, on like a loop or something? I thought you could- Oh, it's this guy! What do you mean? It's all about the stone. Why do some- Tiger became what she saw to destroy, and she's now stealing it. Damn right. Look, you all tried to steal my hat, okay? It's only fair that I steal your hats. In the original version of the game, one of the books here talk about how people in Pokemon used to marry. Oh god. Did I try and find that book? The science. We should find that book. Professor Mustache. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really paying too much attention to the story, but that's fine. We have cute chibi guys. I still don't really know what the plot of this game is. Like, what are Team Galactic doing? I mean, he wasn't the first to try and steal it though. Everyone likes to steal my hat. I would really like this hat in real life. Because it's really cute and I think it would suit me. And I'm not just saying that because I have hair like the protagonist. Lake Vala. Oh, I remember Lake Vala. Oh god, what's that? Is it an earthquake? It does need a flower to feed my hair. Did I go to the Pokemon Center before I came in here? I think I did, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Let me see. Betray not your own blah blah blah. I'm just trying to find the Pokemon Smart, okay? That's all I care about is the Pokemon Smart. Wait, did I miss... I missed the first line. Wait, so is Legends Arceus, like, a sequel to this? Arceus? 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 Okay. Maybe I should do... Maybe I should read these in the voice of David Attenborough. I think that's what we'll do. Veilstone Myth. A young man, callow and foolish in innocence, came to own a sword. With it, he smote Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree abandon. Those not taken as food, he discarded with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Larders grew bare. Wait, did this guy eat Pokemon? The young man, seeking the missing Pokemon, journeyed far. Long did he search, and far and wide too, until one he did find. Asked he, why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, If you bear your sword to bring harm upon us, with claws and fangs, we will exact a toll. From your kind, we will take our toll, or it must be done must be gone to guard ourselves and for it I apologize oh god okay this is kind of getting grim oh god that's kind of cool we're just gonna try and find we're just trying to find the Pokemon Smart Guys. I, I know it's got to be in here, right? There's got to be, like, surely. Oh my god. Really? What Pokemon is that supposed to be that steals your mind? Is... Surely. Do, do you think they included the Pokemon Smart in the remaster? Or do you think it's just in the original version? Wait, is this the one? Let me reread. -read. <laughs> there were once Pokemon that became very close to humans. There were once Pokemon and humans that ate at the same table. 
It was a time when there existed no difference to distinguish the two. Okay, so that's the Pokemon slot. I mean, I feel like it's fairly self-explanatory. At least, you know, that's just my opinion. But like, if you want to be my little peg champ, that's uh, that's entirely a you thing. See, look at her hat. I want it. No one can blame me for wanting it. What's the drama llama out here? Oh, I guess. I guess the import. I get the important job. Okay. Bruh! I meant to go to the lake. You have your own job. Go do your own job. That guy. He's trying to take my job, guy. Where am I going again? Lake Kavala, Lake Kavala, Lake... Oh god, that's miles away! Do I not have fly yet? Absolute, absolute... Wait, is this the Pokemon League up here? Where is the Pokemon League? Is this the Pokemon League? How do I get to this island? What is the route that connects me to it? What's this path? I feel like there's a... I feel like I've been playing this game for a long time, but I've still not really unlocked, explored most of it. I'm still a little bit sick. You'll redeem that when you get the chat points. Good. I hope you enjoy the little redeem. Oh, was that all? It's always Bidoof and Bill and th this other one. Like, this game has something weird with beavers. Ah, tentacruel! We caused a tentacle on this, on this thing before then, so we can't catch it. It's fine, we're going to Thunderbolt the shit out of her. Oh shit! Wait, no, because I've already caught a Pokemon on this route, didn't I? Didn't I? Yeah, I did. I caught a Pokemon on this route last time. So I can't catch her. Yeah, I caught the Pokemon, a Pokemon, I, I caught a tentacle on the route, on the way, on the other way. That's how I got, um, Midnight Sword. The level disparity is really big. It's really weird, because it just jumps up. Like, between the first half. At least I think I caught a Pokemon. Oh, well, it's too late now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure- yeah, see? The level disparity is really big. No, 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 no. It's just because I caught one on the route before. And it's like, we're just doubling back. The story's having us double back, and I want to catch po Pokemon so I can name it after you guys. Oh, I can. You know what? It's fine. I need a flying Pokemon. I feel like I don't have a flying Pokemon and it makes me sad. Like, who's gonna stop me? Like, who doesn't want me to want to have a bird Pokemon? Bird Pokemon are cute. I love how goofy that little beaver Pokemon looks, don't you think?
go. Oh, an Abra! Oh, I've caught a Pokemon on this route already. I want an Abra, though. Abras are a pain in the ass because it's like you can't catch them really. Because if you if 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 they survive your very first thing, then that's GG. So I feel like Abras are really hard to get just in this, um, in Nuzlocke. Because it's pure chance, and if you miss it, then you can't get it. Abras are cute. Oh, we lost our Zubat as well. I love Zubat. Having to cut through these old areas to progress the story is just reminding me of all the loss that we've had in this run. I've never played Nuzlocke before now, or Pearl, and it's just, it's hard. It's hard, like I've lost so many Pokemon, and it's very sad. Does Nuzlocke apply to Arceus, Arceus as well? Eventually, I'm sure someone is going to clip all the times I say Arceus as Arceus in this in this stream, and it's just going to be a video saying that I can't pronounce it, which is not incorrect. I love how it's like, when it does that, it's like I'm doing a full cowling, don't you think, from my hero Akka. Well, I've got strength now. There's bits of this place I can explore that I couldn't before. I wonder. What is that? Oh, is that the thing where it survives the attack? Yeah. See, that always seems really silly because it's like you're preparing to lose. You'd rather just swap out the Pokemon. Okay, Metal Master, what would you like me to add to my model? Pink Aviators. Okay. Let's add the fancy one. Wait, no. Do I have fancy pink aviators? I'm going to check and see if I've got some new live 2D models for aviators. These them? Mm, no, these are not them. <laughs> I forgot I had those. Hi, cat. Why are you being so loud? Evie. She wants attention. She's getting all the scratches. Where are my aviators? So there, those are those, but I want to check if I've got some better ones. I don't think I'd have any live 2D aviators, which is a shame. It's fine, we use these. There we go. And it's actually, they've actually fitted on correctly. I did. I've got two cats. One is called Haru and the other is called Eevee. They are both very cute. I named Haru after the cat in The Cat Returns and my roommate is a cat. And I named Eevee after Eevee in Let's Go Eevee because I played Let's Go Eevee and all the little pet interactions you get made me think, you know what? I really want a pet. So after finishing that, I was like, yeah, no, I need a pet. I'm getting a pet. So I got two cats, and that was a couple of months into the very first lockdown. I've been very happy ever since I got them. They keep me company, which is nice because I live alone. 
sometimes they get a bit demanding, but I kind of like it. It's like this imposed social interaction whenever I forget to be social with them, and it's nice. They also, like, remind me that I need to keep the place clean. Because sometimes, you know, when you're on your own, you kind of let things lapse a bit. But you've got to keep it clean and tidy for them so they've got lots of room to run around and, you know, play with them. They've got to have a nice house. Because otherwise they get anxious if the place isn't, like, clear and they don't have all the room they need. At least I think that's what happens with cats. I read that that's what happens with cats, so I'd rather just, you know, make sure that they have a comfy space than, like, risk them not having a comfy space. Cats are lovely animals. I love my cats. Which way am I going again? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, do I want to go up here, right and down, or do I want to go down, right and up? I feel like down, right and up is the quickest route. I feel like at this point, Small is just decimating everything, but we did say we would have all the revenge this run. Of course I knew you could do it. You're like literally three times as level as some bullshit. I can't believe how massively overleveled I am. I didn't mean for this to happen, it just kind of did, you know? This is not the way. I like this game. It's been a long time since we had fun with the Pokemon game. I think it was Let's Go, Eevee was the last time I ever properly- Oh, what? Have I not been here before? Is this a new route? Is this a new route? What? Officer, do you not have like better things to do than harass children in the middle of the night? Like, bruh. Bruh. You aren't even worth our time. Like, honestly, police officer, why are you harassing this teenage girl in the middle of the night? Hi, third ray senpai. How are you tonight? We are getting harassed by a police officer in the middle of the night, and it's making me very anxious, because clearly, clearly, this police officer may have ulterior. What the hell is going on? Why are there all these police officers in the middle of the night? I've never seen this. I've come this way before, right? So this is our revenge run because we had loss right at the start of the session. Thank you so much for the follow, Sophie, the Queen of Wolves. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Oh, you just read some sweet vibes. I'm glad. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. I like to have this cute... I, I like to have, like, a very calm, chill, kind of cozy stream. You know? Like, I feel like it's important not to take up too much attention. Because, like, everyone's, like, got lives and stuff. And I think a lot of people watch streams when they're doing other things. So it's nice. Like, it's nice to be on people's second monitor a lot of the time.
I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream and uh, having a comfy time with us. It always means a lot when people say stuff like that, you know? So I never really expect it. Did I go the wrong way? Is that why I'm being harassed? Have I gone to the wrong neighbourhood? I've not been here! Why am I being harassed by all these police officers? <laughs> Have you been arguing with your cat? My, I was just talking about my cats. They've been just being needy. One of them is loafing on the bed though, staring at me. And the other is loafing on the windowsill, watching the rain. I'm kind of glad it's raining because we've had so much heat I and mean, we had a massive heat wave here. And also, the children can't be outside playing, like kicking balls against my fence and window making all the noise in the world. Because that happens here. Apparently their parents are okay with that. Because I suppose it's not they're not being kicked against their windows. <laughs> Let's use flamethrower. Lost the check? Thank you, Midnight Sword. Is he, has he been meowing at the cats outside? Oh, that's a cute sound! You should make a video, put a video on Discord. I want to see. Exclamation point Discord if you'd like to join the Discord, by the way. Oh, I've got Surf now. I can get this item. I'm sure I've been this way before. Oh, it's only a Psyduck. One of your windows got busted by a kid's ball playing outside. Yeah, no. It's really... I don't get pets who let their kids run amok. I'm just like, bruh. You can clearly see your kids are doing what is the stuff that's wrong. Like, it would be better if they were playing down the street instead of door to door. Because then they're on, I mean, they're already potentially damaging the cars anyway. At least they're like not damaging people's homes as well. Kids are weird. I'm lost, guys. Did I take a wrong? No, this is the right way. I've been here. I know I have. Oh god, first it's police, now it's old people? I'm getting double teamed by grannies, guys. I won't lie, this old lady be- they're both pretty dapper. I very much want that lady's scarf. I think it's cute as hell. I'm not alone in say saying that right. She does have a cute, comfy looking scarf. Ice beam will be effective against a parrot, right? Ah, uh, Pokemon music. I hope they never really change it too much, because it's always a nice little bop. Ooh. I do like Shadow Ball. Oh, that does a lot of damage. I should really evolve Mistrevis at some point. How do I evolve it again? I need a stone, don't I? What stone do I need and how do I get it? Oh, I didn't actually realize that ice was super effective against birds. I suppose it makes sense because birds always migrate when it's cold, don't they? Of course it wasn't battling, like battling your friends. You just challenged some stranger in the middle of the woods. Oh, 
Oh. Have I honestly never been this way before? I don't think I have. Oh, I have been this way. I'm only going into the grass to check that there's no items I've missed. I'm pretty sure there aren't there. I need to replenish Small's PP. That does need to happen. not been here before. No, I must have been here. I'm sure I have. But why is everything different and new? This is gonna this is gonna bug me all stream. But either way, if this is a new place, I haven't caught a Pokemon on it. Except for that, which I caught before. But no, everything's a low level. I must have been here. Is it just this road I've not been? You know, I've definitely been here before. Maybe I haven't been here. How the hell? How have I missed this whole bit? But I'm sure I've been. We will slay everything. Oh, maybe I should have stopped off at the Pokemon Center. That's fine, we'll figure it out. You have no chance, son. Even if I'm low on PP. take a little bit long. I really want a Marl. I love Marl. It's just like the cutest, isn't it? Like... Really? Water attack? I thought water attacks were effective against water. Okay, Gear Mashal. You have a lovely sleep. Thank you for hanging out with us again. It's always lovely having you in chat. See, seeing those little claws that I didn't notice before makes having Metal Claw make a lot more sense. I thought like it, I thought like it used its feet or something. Also, from behind, don't you think it looks like um, Munchie has the Gurren Lagan glasses? A bit like the penguin in A Hat in Time? I love Gurren Lagan shades. Okay. So I was thinking it would be fun to do some watch party stuff at some point. So I'm... Th I don't want to fight all these guys. I just want to get on with the story. Oh, God damn it! Hi, cat. I like you. You've gotten smart. You know not to stand on the keyboard anymore if you want cats. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're such a cute little fluff. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are a cute little fluff. You are. Hmm. 
You're such a needy little girl tonight, huh? Yes, you are. Those are cute little bean in all of my pants. Yes, yes, yes. Every now and then, I am attacked by, by a very affectionate cat. Oh, well, attacked isn't the right word. But you know what I mean. She just demands the attention, doesn't she? And who am I to refuse? Okay, Small, you've been a good boy. I'm sure I've been here, but like I don't recognize any of this and it's really It's really bugging me. Have I not been here? Route 212. I've definitely- have I not been here? Is this new? No, because I've been on- yeah, no, I've been here. I've definitely been here And I'm sure I've been to Pastoria City to these places. I've definitely been here. And what's this place? Have I been to the Pokemon Mansion? I don't think I have been here. Does that mean I can catch a Pokemon? I can, can I catch a Pokemon, guys? I've not been here. I haven't actually been here. This is new. Everything is such a low level. Am I just that overleveled? Is that what's happened? Am I just horrendously overleveled? I don't even know what level I'm meant to be. But like the gym we just did was level 30, so it doesn't make sense they'd send us down this route, does it? It was level 35, wasn't it? It doesn't make sense. I'm so confused. How much you can take it? I I don't know what's going on anymore, guys. I'm just very confused by my game. I mean, anyway, we've not fought any Pokemon we've not seen before, so if we can catch a Pokemon, we can catch a Pokemon, right? We can catch a Pokemon here. I've not been here. There's too many Pokemon battles for me to have not been here. And I bet if I talk to these fisher people, they will also challenge me. I don't want to fight anymore though. I just want I just want to get to the next story bit. So we're gonna catch a Pokemon. Hopefully it's gonna be a cool Pokemon. And then we're just gonna we we're just gonna, you know. We're just gonna see what we get. And it'll be nice, right? Right? Shards for te TMs. What? What? Wait. Do I want to keep doing this? Do I want to try navigating these these tightrope bits? I won't lie. That seems kind of oh, 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 oh. okay. We got this. We are going to figure out this puzzle. This tightrope bike puzzle. I don't think that we should be able to navigate this like this, but you know. I'm not going to argue with game logic. Because that 
is a fallacy. And not the fun kind. Okay, let's get Pokemon. Let's get Pokemon. Let's get. Do I have this? I don't think I've actually got a grass type. So. Yeah, we can get a catch of Roselia, right? Yeah, we don't have one. And we can actually use false swipe and it'll make sense. Ah! I don't heal? No. I'm going to catch you. Okay, chat. Who wants to be my Roselia? If not, if no one currently in the chat, who should we have? Who should we have from our active chatters? You want to see? I was going to name it after you if no one else said anything. So I'm glad that you've decided that you want to be my Roselia third, right? This is the first Pokemon I feel like I've caught in a long time as well. Because, like, all last session we were like, I'm going to catch a Pokemon, I'm going to catch a Pokemon. And then we ended up killing everything. And I felt awful. I can fit a Senpai in here. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, wait, no. I've made a mistake with your name. Well, you know, I couldn't fit your full name in there anyway, so it's fine. You know what I mean. I wonder if you evolve. I don't think you do, to be honest. Oh, my cat's curled up next to the keyboard and is having a nap now. It's really cute. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still a little bit sick. I'm not... I was really ill before. Like, yesterday I spent, like, half the day asleep. But I woke up feeling a lot better today. But I'm still a little bit ill. Huh. Oh, what's this? Hi, Nokia. Babarel. What's what's Babarel? Do I have a Babarel? I get so confused by what Pokemon I've got. There's just so goddamn many, aren't there? Oh no, that girl's stuck in the mud! Let me out! You're not gonna challenge me to a Pokemon fight here, are you? Oh look, is that... Oh, it's a Whooper! I like Whoopers, they're really cute. Whooper is such a comfy little bit, come on. We will use Psychic. You have that girl that just lives in the mud. Really? That's so fucking weird. You know what? No, we shouldn't judge people. If you want to live in the well in the mud, more power to you. I hear it's in a really effective beauty treatment. I should do a face mask tonight. Yeah, I think that's all I'll do. Put on a face mask before bed. That'd be nice. Luxia? Oh, oh we had one of these. They were our favourite Pokemon until they died. 
we lost so many good Pokemon this run, and it's just like, meh. Every time we lose Pokemon, it's just a reminder that this game is really fucking hard. And then we decided to grind up so that we would never lose like that ever again, and we still lost. Nuzlocke is cruel. Like, it's a kid's game, right? It shouldn't make you feel bad, right? Buzel. What's a Buzel again? Oh, right, it's the, um, it's like the otter kind of thing. I feel like I should have been here before, but I've just completely forgotten. Like, I just I just didn't come this route. I mean, that's why I couldn't get through that fog area. I was supposed to come up here that time, and instead I just went the completely wrong way. What's up here? Yes, I should make them feel bad. What's here? Is that all? You're going to challenge me to a battle that I really can't be bothered to have. I'm just exploring, kids. You don't have to fight me. Everyone wants to have a Pokemon battle, and I'm just like, no. No. Oh. We may have made a mistake, but it's fine. We've not lost that much speed. Love how you get out of the mud by button mashing. How do you live in this mud? Oh, you don't want to fight me. Pokemon. Great, is this the great? Mo oh no, but I already caught a Pokemon in this way. Meh. Oh well, that's fine. I may not have meant to catch the Pokemon there. I mean, I did mean to catch the Pokemon. You know what I mean. I mean, does anyone know what I mean? I'm not even saying anything, really, am I? Uh, what am I doing, guys? Okay, so how do I get to the rest of the city? This is how. I use the goddamn door. Can I go in here? Did I beat this gym? Did I beat this gym? I feel like I beat this gym. I definitely beat this gym, right? Hmm, I want to swap Pokemon. I want some different types. I should use... I should use third rate. What Pokemon is this again? I don't remember it. Does it evolve? Does Chingling evolve? Oh, he's a psychic. Chingling doesn't evolve, does it? Blissey only is, is only going to evolve in the daytime, which I never play at. So I'm thinking I swap Pink Panic out with a weaker Pokemon to level that up. But also so we've got some Grass type, because we don't have Grass type. Does Chingling evolve into Chimeco? I have no I have no idea to be honest. I can't remember. Let's have a look. Chingling evolution. Oh, it 
it does evolve, does it? Does it? Does it evolve? Does Tringling evolve? Tringling does evolve, and Tringling evolves at night time. Okay, so that means we can evolve Tringling. Okay, so we should have Tringling. We should have Tringling. Let's help Tringling evolve. So what do we have here that's not going to evolve? But these are all go everything is going I'm not I'm not getting rid of a smaller munchie. They've been with us from the start and they're our most powerful pug. But Meditite, when does Meditite evolve? Which need Rich is a really strong Pokemon though. I don't want to I need a stone to evolve which. Does third rate senpai evolve? Does Rosalia evolve? I'm pretty sure Roselia does evolve. Roselia does evolve. I knew it. I need a stone to make Roselia evolve, then. That's lame. Okay. I'm sorry, third rate senpai. I'm benching you because I don't have that goddamn stone. But I will. Wait, do I have that stone? It's a sunstone I need. Oval stone? What does an oval stone do? I have an oval stone and a dawn stone. What do these things do? Oval stone and dawn stone. Oval stone. And dawn stone. Oval stone. Uh, oh. So if I play like an hour early with... Okay. 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 Dawn stone. What does Dawnstone do there? Dawnstone, does that not actually help any of my Pokemon? Okay, so Dawnstone doesn't help us with any of our Pokemon. That we currently have. I'm pretty sure a dusk stone is something I need there. Now, the oval stone is useful. The oval stone is super useful because it means we can evolve Pink Panic. So next week we are going to help Pink Panic evolve. I think that's the plan. So for now, I'm going to equip you. I'm going to equip Pink Panic with the Dawn Stone. Dawn, well no, with the Oval Stone. And then, I'm going to play earlier next week, I think, when I stream. And if I level up Pink Panic, Pink Panic should evolve. So at the end of this session. Why should evolve? I say fuck a lot. 
because Wooper will evolve as well. There's so many Pokemon I should be swapping out and evolving. No, no. Oval Stone. At least, wait, am I right? Oval Stone. Yeah, it's, it's literally just happening. It evolves Happiny into Chansey. And Chansey's cute as hell. Do you not think Chansey is just like a big cuddle waiting to happen? And then Chansey evolves into Blissey, right? Am I imagining that? I've beaten this gym before, right? I've definitely beaten this gym. Yeah, I did. Fuck you. Okay. Let's go to Lake Vala. This is the way. You know the way. Hi, Alex Gone. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a nice time with us here. I am Tiger, the comfy Tiger V2. And we are playing an, my very first ever Nuzlocke run of a Pokemon game. And also my very first game of any of the Pearl versions. Ah, yes, the fun puzzle that I got very lost in. I, did, I mean, I got lost in for a good little while, getting confused by the different water levels. Oh, this isn't the way, is it? Okay, so. So, 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 so. This is Lake Valor? Okay, so we are fighting fucking Team Galactic nerds. We are going to destroy Team Galactic. Because we lost a Pokemon. Oh, the Pokemon off! Oh, wait, are you guys. You guys don't want to stop me? Oh! Oh! All oh, these poor men. Oh! Bruh! I'm not gonna lie, Team Galactic fights have a boss theme tune, do you not think? It's an absolute little bop. I know, I know, these poor Magikarp, they're just not having a good time. They've been fucking boiled out of the water, like... There's no lake, where is the fucking lake? Last resort? Wait. Is Ramsey learning how to do honorable sud the Sudoku? Hi, Paris. You've been very quiet the past little while. Holy shit. Ooh, that's a really strong... That's, that's kind of strong. I like that. I like that. I feel like that's going to make sense as a last resort. This is poison water, right? No, just poison. I really like Krogunk. I think Krogunk has a really use nice design. Okay, guys. Now, you know how all these Magikarp are dying? Do you think there's anything wrong with me thinking like roast Magikarp would be a would be a tasty treat? I mean, I am a cat, 
And cats do eat fish. So that makes sense, right? Pokemon in the show is about. You know, I haven't actually watched any of the new Pokemon shows. So what else is down here? Oh my god! Are you just are you just collecting the magic card? Bruh! These guys all evolve into Gyarados. Are you are you rejecting Gyarados? You guys have no sense. You cannot reject Gyarados. Therefore you do not reject Magikarp. Magikarp is the shit. I mean, do people eat Pokemon? Because like that story said, no, you're not supposed to eat Pokemon. So is Pokemon a vegetarian society? Is that how it works? I don't, I don't know. It's definitely not vegan because like they have moomoo milk, don't they? How do they uh, harvest moomoo milk? Is it direct from the source? Holy shit. Are you dog poison? I love that little grin he's got. I know. All of these Magikarp evolving into Gyarados. Omnivore society. I mean, that makes sense. You know what I don't get? Why is it rice balls are jelly donuts in Pokemon? Why do they decide to make them jelly donuts? It makes no sense. Brock logic, you know. Yeah. Like, the English dub is a bit weird, let's be honest. Like, there's so many odd things about it. At least I think there are so many odd things. Entertainment. What's this? Oh no, that seems awful. Beautifly. Okay, we're going to set you on fire and it's going to be fine. It's all fine. You guys did that to these magic up and it's fine. Yeah, like, that's really weird. It's really weird how they have to Americanize everything. Do they still Americanize stuff? But also, who thinks jelly donuts are, like, a meal? Like... They went bankrupt, really? Why did they go bankrupt? How did they go bankrupt? I thought they had a lot of business in Four Kids. Apocaly Apocalymon from Digimon crying about how everyone gets the pizza and he gets the crust. Well, that's really sad. Wait, is that in uh, Digimon Tamers? Ap Apocalymon is like the little kind of gremlin Pokemon that evolves, right? Wait, legendary Pokemon? Am I gonna catch a legendary Pokemon? Oh, no, I don't have the Master Ball yet. Oh, this is a really weird perspective for a Pokemon game to use. Like, look at it. It's like th third per. It's not top down. It's like third person. Oh, it's another one of the admins. Oh. Bitch. I'm going to beat you next. Don't be mad at Jupiter. Sailor Jupiter had a great attitude. Oh, look at Sailor. Okay, I, I called it. We are up against the, the, the Team Rocket version of the Sailor Scouts. This is what's happening. We are up against Team Rocket Sailor Scouts. Okay. Okay. Oh, they have different theme music for like... Yeah, it's it's different theme music for the different ra <coughs> different ranks. <coughs> oh, 
I don't like being sick. They try. They tried to put. What did they try and pull on Konami? Was this Yu-Gi-Oh? Because Yu-Gi-Oh is Konami related, right? Power trick. What's power trick? Oh, that's weird. No, I don't want that. <coughs> I don't like being sick, in case I haven't said this enough. It's meh. Oh, I have to go to work tomorrow as well. Yeah! Yeah, like... Yeah, and then he go turns out to be a good guy, doesn't he? He turns into a good guy towards the end and helps them at the end of Digimon Tamers, right? I really liked Digimon Tamers. Go on, Small. Kick his ass. Yeah! Bronzo. Hmm. <coughs> I agree, Tamers is one of the best. I remember the original Digimon Adventure. I really like the reboot of Digimon Adventure they did earlier in the year. I thought it was really, really good. Also, I was glad that it was one continuous story instead of broken up the way the original Digimon Adventure was. I kind of want to watch the sequel to Digimon Adventure, where everyone's an adult now. <coughs> mm. I really don't like being sick. So I called it. We are up against the Team Rocket Sailor Scouts. That's what we're up against. That's what Team Galactic is. <coughs> Wait, what? Wait, was there not a Pokemon here for me to catch? Was there not legendary Pokemon? Wasn't what's his name gonna be here? Wasn't my rival supposed to be here as well? Which one was Try again? I don't think I watched Try. Because there were a couple of Pokemon series I didn't actually, it was Digimon series I didn't see. Um, oh, I have to go all the way back he to here. Oh no, that's such a long, that's such a long journey. I wish. Welcome back, Eagle Munch. Uh, this is such a meh. It's so much back and forth. It's fine. Though. It's just... The journeys feel longer than they need to be because of all like the low-level Pokemon battles in between. Like, I don't need to fight these guys that have Pokemon half my level. No. You are simply a hindrance. What's this way? Post a check and a hydrate. Thank you. Was the original gang as teenagers after the... Wait, was that when they had the... Um... Was that when they had their friends? Like these young kids with like... Um... Kari and what's his name? Like the, the the younger siblings in the main group. And then there's a crossover where the Digimon come into the people world. <laughs> Do 
Because Digimon Adventure, then there's that sequel, and I didn't realise they did something after that. Oh, I didn't realise they did another version. And I heard they did a, a version, like a movie series, when they were all kind of a, adults and growing up. And eventually they were losing their Digimon because, you know... Digimon are meant to represent some kind of thing about being young or some shit. Ah, uh, that's try. Yeah, no, I never saw that. What was it like? Also, I do love doing a bridge anime. I was thinking of doing a Dragon Ball Z abridged watch party on Discord tomorrow night. I think that would be fun. Like after work or something when I finish dinner. Mostly because I haven't seen Dragon Ball Z abridged in years and I can't remember it. I feel like some of the humour hasn't aged that well though. That's my only concern with it. Can I do a watch party? No. No, I can't do a watch party on that. Four kids wasn't with the Japan drums of Yu-Gi-Oh franchise, and they were licensed with, and proceeded to not pay them the the IR royalties. Well, what's the IR? Really, they weren't paying them the royalties for. Really, that's so fucked up. Wait, so four kids was holding money back? Yeah, we'll do DPCA. Um. We'll do some of the movies as well, because I don't know what the movies are like. I've not actually seen any of the movies. The only movies I've seen are the Dragon Ball Super ones. Everyone got to hit Mega. And Leomon did what he always says. Oh, did Leomon? I love Leomon. So basically, it sounds a bit like the new version of Digimon that came out. Because everyone hits Mega in that as well. And there's lots of alternate Mega forms as well for everything. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like, I'm past the worst of this illness, but like, there's other bits that are just like still there. I was only sick, properly sick, for like a day. And it's just like meh. I wish this cough would go away though. Because everyone hits Mega in the other Pokemon I was watching. I mean, the other Digimon I was watching. Uh, the reboot of Digimon Adventure. I really, I really, really liked the reboot of Digimon Adventure. It just felt very fresh, you know? It felt like a good reinterpretation of the franchise. Like, it didn't do... It did all the same things, but it was a completely new story. And it reused the characters really, really well. I love what they did with Devimon as well, how he was actually just like... Hi, Mighty Ninian! Okay, mm we can do that. But... But I'm doing Nuzlocke. If you if you lose Pokemon in multiplayer doing Nuzlocke, do they have to die? Do you have to release them? Because that sounds very scary. I'm not going to level anything to max level. I'm just going to do the Elite Four and maybe some of the after content if there's a lot of end game. And then I'm probably going to... Oh, well, I didn't even move! Yeah, I'm doing Nuzlocke. I've lost... I, you know what? I started. I started the game. My very first Pokemon battle. I was like, oh, we're going to do the gym. Yeah, I'm going to have a new Pokemon that I've not used before. Fire type because we're going into a steel gym. It got one... It got frozen and then one shot. Hi, Pebble Hop. Welcome to chat. Also, I am Tiger. I'm a comfy variety streamer. And yeah, I always try and have a cozy atmosphere here. And yeah, I hope you have a nice time. Oh. 
Uh, where am I going? Don't break my windows! Wait, was Munch breaking your windows? Why was Munch, why was, why was Munch breaking your windows? Oh, it's a stra- Oh, this is one of our first Pokemon that we lost. It was really sad because he was one of our strongest Pokemon at the time as well. And when he went down, I was just like absolutely gutted. We almost lost our starter as well. Just stealing jelly beans. Hacker's memories. Wait, is that um from Cyber Sleuth? Because I have Cyber Sleuth and I just got a bit bored of it. But it's got this whole separate storyline. So I could start that maybe and do that if people want to watch that. Because it's like, it's two games in one Cyber Sleuth, isn't it? On the PC. Because you've got the main game and then you've got like, the hacker story, right? Which is like, from a different point of view? Oh, it's an ongoing joke. Okay, you want some purring? Where's the Pokemon? There's the Pokemon Center. Mm. I need to drink more. You liked it better than Cyber Sleuth? Okay. I heard that it was better. So I, I only played the original Cyber Sleuth and I never finished it just because I just... I just got to like a part of the game where it just felt a bit boring. I did like all the different Greymons though. I thought that was really cool. Like there's like 50 million different versions of Greymon in the Ultimate Evolution and I really liked that. Also, I like that the um, orange and blue Greymons are different Digimon and have different Digimon chains in them. But if there's a different story in the hacker story, then I might I might play that when I finish Pokemon. Because it feels like that same kind of game, right? You have your party and all that. Can you do a Nuzlocke with that game? No. No. I don't want to do that. I think I think Pokemon Nuzlocke is enough. We don't need to do more Nuzlocke, right? You're not gonna make us do even more Nuzlocke. Yeah, no more Nuzlocke. This is we we do Nuzlocke Pokemon and we do not do Nuzlocke anything else. Okay. God, Nuzlocke is hard though. I've never done a Nuzlocke before, and it's just it's just a different beast, isn't it? Like, which way am I going? It's this way. Ah! I don't want to fight these Pokemon. They give me nothing. They're all like level eight or some bullshit, right? Come on. Like, I'm just T-posing here at this point. Like, it's so gratuitous. It's so gratuitous. Also, Munchie would never smash my windows. He's my starter Pokemon. Oh, come on, I didn't even move. Stretch. You tried to Nuzlocke hackers. What the hell are Royal Knights? Okay, so there's. I clearly didn't get to the end game because that sounds like an end game kind of deal.
Okay, yeah. So so we're not going to Nuzlocke that. That sounds awful. Um. Oh, Omnimon, Gallantmon, Dukemon, and Alphamon. Oh, do you have to fight all of those? What the hell is Gallantmon? What's Dukemon? What's Alphamon? I know what Omnimon is. Wait, no, I feel like I've seen Gallantmon. Are they like Fusion Digimon? Like Omnimon is. <coughs> Fucking love Metal Greymon. But I think Rise Greymon? Is that what it's called? I like Rise Greymon. I feel like it's a really cool aesthetic based on Metal Greymon. Also, I think Metal Greymon in... Oh, Chingling! I like Chingling. Chingling looks super cute. Oh, that's what Gallantmon is! I like Gallantmon. Gallantmon is aesthetic. Beelzemon? I feel like I've seen Beelzemon before. cute as fuck. I think I tried to catch one of these, but it died. I wish that I could have caught it, though. Ah, Beelzemol! Yes! That's the one from Tamers. Yes! Fucking loved Beelzemol in Tamers. I fucking loved Tamers. Tamers was the shit, like... I had to watch it at really awkward hours of the day. Ah! Let me get through, goddammit! I'm just trying to- yeah, the biker Pokemon. I'm just trying to be with my Pokemon in my lane and you guys are just disrupting my journey, okay? Like, you're not even a threat to me. And you just stop me. I really wanted my Machop to evolve into Machop. The seven deadly Digimon. Who are the seven deadly Digimon? Did you have a... Did you have a... Devi Woman? Let's be honest, rap is a bit of shit. I had no idea you could use Ghost Pokemon and you Ghost Attacks. Thank you for the bits, Ninian! Mm. I feel like I need longer sound redeems. But if I have long ones that are too long, I will eventually get copy striked, which is sad. So, meh. Oh, legalities. Why do you have to be in the way of fun, you know? I like Matchamp. Like, moving all those boxes, those forearms, is super helpful. It definitely couldn't be interpreted as anything lewd. Definitely not. It's like that lady in, in um, Elden Ring. You know, four arms for extra hugs, right? I bet Machamp would give really good hugs, actually, now that I think about it. Because, like, Machamp is buff as fuck, so clearly would give really nice hugs, right? This way. Why did you hesitate about moving the boxes, by the way?
I like how much personality Small seems to have in as a Pokemon. Do all the Pokemon have kind of personalities like this, I wonder? I didn't really notice it too much with the others. I don't like this. It's me. Maybe I should use a repel. No, because repels are based on the number of steps you take, not like the time. Which is dumb. I think that's really dumb. For repel. Daemon, Lilithmon, Barbamon, Beelzemon, Leviamon? Lucimon? Sinful team of Chadness. Okay. I can get on board with that. We might do a side of Sleuth play playthrough, maybe. But not like original side of Sleuth. We'll do Hacker Story. Because they're basically meant to be the same game, well, similar games. Or it's the same engine with a different storyline. But they're apparently meant to be parallel stories that happen at the same time? If I remember right? Is that wrong? Where am I even going? Okay, so. We're going into the town. We'll use the Pokemon Center to replenish our PP. Because, you know, it's important to make sure you always have plenty of PP. Obviously. And it flashes out the cat showing you what the group you meet in Cybersleuth is doing while you're doing your thing? What group? I didn't know you met a group in Cybersleuth. I just thought you meant, met like these hacker guys that were like the antagonists or something. Am I wrong? Do I even know what the hell was happening in Cybersleuth? I thought there was some guy fucking around with like the digital world or some shit and that was all. I've not been this way. In this is like taking me back to hometown, right? Yeah. Yeah. Arata Nokia. Oh, you mean the detective agency? Those guys. Okay, maybe that would be cool. I mean, it sends you back, if you lose, it sends you back to the nearest Pokemon Center, right? So I'm only doing, I'm not planning to lose, but I'm just doing this just as a precaution. Because you never know with Nuzlocke when something's just going to blindside you. Even side mission characters get more story. Okay. You're really trying to sell me hard on Hacker's Memory. So I've got six gym badges. I need... Have I been here before? This is the right way. Trees out of my way. This way? The occult club? Oh, this is where we were right at the beginning. Are we opening with a double battle? Yes, I fucking love double battles. 
Also, I'm not gonna lie, I thought these guys looked like fucking nerds, but I kind of want to cosplay as one of the Team Galactic girls. Like, I feel I could pull it off really well. I will fuck these guys up. I'm still getting revenge for my fucking ponyto that I lost right at the start of this session. Do it. Do it. Yes. Tell me you got another Pokemon, right? Throw another Pokemon. Is that it? Just these two? I can't jam to the Pokemon music if you don't put up a fight, bruh. That's not how this works. Oh, you do! Excellent. Oh. I didn't realise that was no effect. Yes, all of the revenge. Oh shit, I didn't one shot these guys. This is like, okay, I did one shot that one. This is like shock horror. I didn't one shot them. What the hell is going on, guys? Oh no, he used quick attack or some shit. I wasn't looking. I was looking at chat. Where is it not playing? I saw you put- I saw you do the bits redeem, but I didn't hear it. Oh, we've almost got a hype train! I think it's been a long time since I've had a hype train. Wait, did that not- did that not play? Did your redeem not play? That's really weird. All the music redeems are really loud normally. I didn't see it go off. But it should be really loud. Mm. I will figure something out. Hi, Robodoc! How are you today? Mm. Ah, we are having revenge for Pony. That's what this whole stream is about. We're doing it for Pony. There's a carnival in your town. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, I totally want to cosplay as one of these Team Galactic girls. I think it would be really good. I think I could definitely do that. Oh, that's what she wants. One of my cats has ca camouflaged in my uh, bathroom. I was wondering where she was. Oh! It's her that we beat before! You want to cosplay as Morty from the second generation ghost gym? I don't remember this. That's um silver and gold, right? I don't remember the gym leaders from silver and gold. Sunny day turned into rainy night with thunder. Aww. But still, if it's really hot, sometimes I like a bit of evening rain, don't you think? <laughs> At least I like a bit of evening rain. Agatha's grandson? Agatha? Who's Agatha? I feel like I'm, I should know who Agatha is. Oh, 
I'm going to adjust my... Oh, I think we're going to lose the hype train, but that's fine. A thunderbolt just hit. Was that at the same time I landed my attack? That's cool as shit. Oh, one of the Elite Four. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I remember, actually. Yeah. But it's been a long time since I've thought about those connections. I like that there's always a connection from one Pokemon game to the next, don't you think? Like, that's a really cool little thing that they do. What does Mist do again? No. There was the manga. No one that, the original pocket monster there when the manga was way more violent. Her Gengar nearly murders Blue. Oh you mean in the manga? Yeah, no. I feel like yeah. Oh shit, you lost power! Oh god! That's nuts! The weather out there is crazy. Whereabouts are you? As you know, don't dox yourself. Yay! I'm glad you've got power again. That's nuts. Like, I feel like all the kids show. I'm not gonna lie, I'm digging the harem pants on this one, don't you think? Are you okay? Yeah. Mm, I don't think I need to grind. Oh, Finland! My friend lived in Vanta, and I visited there, and Helsinki. Oh, it's her again! It's Sailor Mars. Okay, we're gonna beat you again. You can't beat me, I kicked your ass the first time. Did you just beat on my friend? Cause that's fine, we never fought him anyway, so I kinda thought he was probably a wimp. Revenge for Pony. I know grinding is important. Ah! Fuck you! Wait, you can attack and swap Pokemon? Oh wait, is that a dark type? Look, I've got ten levels on you. Small is gonna be fine. Oh. Oh, you've got a lot of health. I wanna... Oh, that's true, certain moves do. Let's use Psychic. Psychic is clearly gonna be even stronger, right? For ugly... F Don't you fucking snack? We're in the middle of a fucking battle. How do you have time to not... Uh, to have, have, have like a snack? Oh shit. Stop doing that. Oh. oh so that's her goal. So U turn I guess U turn I guess is a dark moon. But it's fine, as long as I one shot her Pokemon, I should be okay. Yeah. 
Ooh, a small hit level 50. You should learn Nasty Plot. What does Nasty Plot do? Oh no, we don't care about that. No. We are going to beat the shit out of Pony. Revenge for Pony. Yeah, that doesn't seem that great. At least compared to our other moves. Mm, do I wanna... You've got fairly low health. No, we will heal... We will heal small just to be safe. No. No, we we got this. Small, we, I believe in small. Oh no. No, that's dark. No, it's fine. I would have thought with a move like payback, it would have reflected the damage I did before, which was a lot more. That's it. We kicked Sailor Mars's ass again. Small is the instrument of our revenge. Yes, again and again. Are you surprised? Oh, three legs. Wait. Oh, and Arceus is the one that steals your mind. So these three Pokemon were there to stop Arceus, right? I have to go to Lake Acuity and check on Bingo, don't I? I bet, I bet. I bet he's not okay. I bet I'm gonna have to save. Oh, I have to go all the way up there. Uh, okay. I'm gonna swap Munchie in the first place. Go to a Pokemon Center. And then... The three originals? Who are the three originals? They serve Arceus. I thought... I'm confused with the lore. I thought that they were meant to contain Arceus. So who are the other three? Do we see the other three later? Dialga, Palkia, and Giranata. Giratina? Wait, are those in Pokemon Black and White? Or are they in this one? Because I never played Black and White, or Black and White 2. So, how do these connect? So wait, so is Diamond and Pearl a sequel to Black and White? Is that how that works? <coughs> oh, that sucks being without power. Ah! So Dialga, Palkia, and Giranata are... are legendary Pokemon from that. From these ones. Oh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum are first. Wait, so Palkia's the Pokemon on the cover of Pearl, and Arceus is the Pokemon on the cover of Diamond, right? Wait, so there's. But why is Palkia the Pokemon on the cover of Pearl if it's one of the three? I'm so confused. I thought the Pokemon on the covers were meant to be like equal or something. Palkia is space. Ah. 
Oh, right, right, right. Oh. Oh. Wait, so that what? Wait, so... Dialga is time and Palkia is space. But they're all on the same side, right? Giratina is distortion. Oh, I wait, no, I've seen Giratina in, um... You can catch Giratina in, like, X or something. At least I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure I remember you being able to catch Giratina. Okay. All hail Giratina. <laughs> There's so much lore in Pokemon though. I kind of love it. I love how this kid's game has just become some kind of really complicated thing that you just kind of have to deal with. It's like a meaty subject to get into, isn't it? Right, 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 right. I have work tomorrow, so I think it is time to call it a night. We've had a little time. You had a nice little stream. And yeah. Plus to check, thank you very much. And hydrate, thank you very much. You don't know what's going on in this, but Tiger Go Burr. Tiger does go bad. It is kind of bedtime. Let's go raid small. Because he's been carrying us through this strip. I want to help small hit partner. I think he's doing a collab. Is he doing a collab? It looks like he's doing some kind of collab. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, it looks like they're, they both control. Okay, that looks kind of fun. Okay, let's raid him. We don't need a raid message. They all know who I am at this stage. I mean, we can do a raid message, maybe. I don't really mind. Do Tiger Raid. Tiger Raid. I can't even type. That's what our aim is, it will be. 